Hi colleagues, hope you've been keeping well. Now today I'm going to show you how you can easily integrate uh, web-based applications like uh, Mentimeter as well as Kahoot into your Blackboard Collaborate uh, classes. It's very easy and I'm sure some of you have already created some uh, Kahoot quizzes that you typically roll out and uh, use during your uh, physical lectures. So you can actually use it during your uh, Collaborate classrooms as well. And the same with Mentimeter. And as you know, the chat functions in, uh, in uh, Blackboard Collaborate, they are not anonymous. So this might prevent sometimes some students who are shy and they don't want to ask you certain questions because they don't want their identity to be known. So Mentimeter is a great way to integrate into uh, Blackboard for, for you to open up the platform for students to ask questions anonymously. So let's quickly jump in into the computer and then I'll show you how to do it. So what I did here is, as always, whatever you wish to roll out during your session, you should always prepare before the session takes place. So in my Chrome browser, I've loaded up the Blackboard Collaborate Room, Mentimeter, Kahoot, and as a bonus, I've added in a YouTube video as well. To start, in your Collaborate course room, open the Collaborate panel. Okay, if you don't know where it is, it's right here. And click on Share Content tab. So you have your chat tabs, you have your attendees, and then the share content tab will be on the third one. And then go to share application or screen. Once you're there, you should see the option of sharing your screen, an application window, or a Chrome tab. Choose Chrome tab. You should see the various tabs you've earlier prepared for Kahoot, Mentimeter, and YouTube here. So I'll start off with Kahoot. Click on Kahoot. If you wish to share audio from the Kahoot game, remember to click on the share audio function. I'll skip it for now. Now at this point, don't be alarmed. Blackboard will automatically take you to the primary Kahoot page where you can control the game. If you wish to confirm that students are seeing the right thing, just go back to the course room and check it out for yourself. So as you can see, Kahoot is already reflected right here. From there, you can just start your game and students can automatically log in. Now the same process applies for Mentimeter as well. So once you're done with Kahoot, stop sharing. Again, go back to the share application or screen page, choose Chrome tab and then click on Mentimeter. Now again, Blackboard will just jump you right through the main Mentimeter page. Once you're ready, click Present. And this screen will be reflected in the Blackboard course room. Now as for YouTube, while the same process does apply, remember to click on the Share Audio function. Considering that you're sharing a video. So click on the YouTube video. I already have one loaded up here. Just click share. Again, Blackboard will jump you right through the YouTube page. When you're ready, click play. And the video will start playing in the Collaborate platform. Now, sometimes it might take a while for the video to appear. So be patient, give it a few moments because Blackboard will take its time to load up the videos. So the heavier the file, the heavier the content, the, typically the longer it will take for Blackboard to load it up. Now it's also important that you do not activate the full screen function, because if you do, you will not have control over what your students are actually seeing, as the video will take over your entire screen. So keep that in mind. So that's it. So I hope you realize how easy it is for you to integrate uh, some simple web-based applications into uh, Blackboard Collaborate to sort of uh, uh, liven up and freshen up your course room delivery in uh, Blackboard. So I hope you find this useful. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.